Production schedule is we're planning on starting deliveries January 1st of 2012. Uh, we are located in southwest Iowa, Oakland. Um, the product name will be called Mixmate and um, we will have it'll be user friendly so the depending on how your truck is set up uh, it's going to be a plug and play system so the more things that you need to add or configure directly to your truck or your plant or whatever you can just start plugging modules in and make it um, set up for your your operation what we're doing is uh, automated chemical handling out in the field this machine goes on a tender truck and um, so you can make your batches as you go throughout the day uh, according to field conditions or winds uh, field conditions such as wind speed or weed size or temperature um, depending on what your products that are using are dependent on um, we can go in and uh, set up products and the product uses and in the product uses we can set up we can build curves for um, your conditions on product rates and things like that where so if the condition changes throughout the day it automatically recalculates the amount of chemical that you need or product that you need to go into the mix um, so then when we actually go into the mix we set up what prescription we're using, where the where it's coming from, the either the field or the job number that we're associating the batches with, how many gallons we're putting in the batch and how many acres we want that to cover, and then what applicator we're running that through. And so then when we set conditions, this is where we set like the actual conditions that determine how much of how much of each chemical to use in the batch. And so we like on here we have wind speed, and so we can set the wind speed to a certain condition, certain speed for amount of drift retardant. And then so when we go in and mix the batch, um, for a hand pour type chemical, we have um, we have the scale is how we measure all of our chemicals, and with the jug rinse we can rinse a hand pour type jug, and the switch is to actually uh, let the water come up into the jug. And the, um, this switch is only activated during a jug rinse mode. Uh, we also keep track of inventory uh, for when we're emptying the, when the jug gets empty, we do the remove jug from inventory and it keeps track of the amount of chemical that's left in the jug. And so when we empty the jug, uh, it accounts for the chemical that's left in. So when we rinse, we know that it's in there already. Um, so we go to the next product here, and one advantage that we have of doing the um, chemicals the way we do, we can hook mini bulks up to the back of the mixing station here and plug them in to the side for power. And so then an automatic fill off of a mini bulk, it pumps it in and measures it out automatically. And mm, with that, we get. Uh, faster loading and faster batches and so with the automatic fill as we add product in it automatically closes down the valve as you get close to 100% and then closes it off at 100% we want to bridge the gap between accounting and spatial management um, systems the spatial management is good for being out in the field and doing the variable rate application, but you don't know what is actually going into the batches that are getting sprayed onto the fields. And so what we're doing is recording what actually goes into those batches and goes and then that information can be taken back to accounting for billing or keeping track of what exactly went out on each of the fields.